Hello and welcome to my SQL8 administration course. My name is Peter Boros and I will be your instructor. A little bit about me. On the left side you can see a nice picture of me as well. But more important thing is that I have more than 10 years of experience running my SQL in production, including consulting or working for several high traffic web properties. I taught several Oracle University courses about MySQL across the EMEA region. I was principal architect at Percona, a company that specializes in MySQL performance tuning and bringing enterprise class support, managed services and consulting to thousands of customers. Let's see what we will learn in this course. MySQL or MySQL is the world's most popular open source database. Both pronunciations are used in the community. If you ask different people, they will tell you that different versions are the correct one. But I think the official one is the MySQL pronunciation. We will learn about MySQL operations with emphasis on the new version MySQL 8. Also, we will learn about more advanced MySQL operations. So what we will learn? First, we will learn about setting up MySQL and about user management. At this point, we will be able to set up database access for an application like WordPress or Drupal to use our freshly created database. So at this stage, the application works. After the first steps, we will learn about monitoring. Monitoring is important to get the insights about what's going on in the database. At the end of the monitoring chapter, we will be able to diagnose issues like finding what queries are slow. After monitoring, we will learn about replication. Being able to manage replication allows us to have multiple copies of the data and to scale reads. After replication, we will learn about backups. Backups are important to ensure that the data is safe, for example, in an event of an accidental delete. This happens more often than one would think. We will also learn about the more advanced operations like switchovers, promoting replication slaves to masters, or manipulating the replication topology. We will learn about advanced replication features, and we will learn about migrating from MySQL 5.7 to MySQL 8, and in general, what tests to do in a typical migration scenario. While we made this course, MySQL 8.0 was released as GA. We recorded videos earlier than the GA release as well. Some of the videos are with MySQL 8.0.3 and some of them are on MySQL 8.0.4. We made sure that labs are updated with the GA release and that every lab works with the GA release and the text instructions on the labs are up to date. We recommend using VirtualBox 5.2.10 for the labs. For some of the earlier 5.2 releases I had some crashes with the latest macOS but this one with the latest macOS works fine. The lab images already contains the guest additions for it. You are welcome to use a newer or an older version. The labs will just take more time to boot because they will have to install the corresponding guest additions version. Whereas if you are using 5.2.10, guest additions version will match. So it won't do anything. 